Well, found out a little bit late last night that um, Greg Marshall has decided to turn down Alabama's offer to be the head coach of the Crimson Tide basketball team. He's going to stay at Wichita State. So now the question is, where does Alabama, who does Alabama bring in as head basketball coach? One name I've heard thrown out a lot is Richard Pitino, the son of Louisville Rick, Louisville's Rick Pitino and the head coach of the Minnesota Golden Gophers. Um, I think that would be about like hiring Mike Shula. Just hire, just hire, uh, to bring in another guy that you hired just because of who his father is, is not what the university needs to do. I mean, he did nothing for one year at Florida International. He's done nothing for two years at, uh, at, um, Minnesota. So why, why even bother going after him? I mean, he, he, he doesn't deserve the job. Um, another name I heard thrown out today on the Paul Feinbaum show I think it might have just been a joke or is um Archie Miller at Dayton who is the brother of uh Arizona's Sean Miller. I know he just got a contract extension but everybody knows how easy those contracts are to get out of. Um At this point, I would, I would, like I said, I wouldn't take Richard Pitino. Uh, in fact, I would take a assistant coach from one of the teams who's still in the tournament over Richard Pitino. Um, another coach I think we should probably look at, I mean, is um, Louisiana Tech's Michael White. See if he might be interested in a job. He, he's a young guy, about 38 years old. Um, he's um, got quite a record in such a short amount of time as a head coach. I mean, 101 and 40 in only four years. He might be somebody to go after, but yeah. I just don't know who we're going to get as our basketball coach. Yeah. Should find out in the next few days or weeks or whenever. But hopefully we will get one. Um, that's about all I got.